Not bad. Good. So coming back, do you think that the holidays have um, an impact on how well you're going to do on something? It's short break, but do you yeah, think yeah. that it'll affect the players? Well, the guys did have four days off, you know, so I think that's really good for them. Um, you know, hopefully they had a couple workouts while they were gone. We had uh, practice last night. They worked pretty hard. Uh, we'll go today and tomorrow and hopefully be ready on Sunday. So as far as Peyton has played in this early run of the season, the one thing he told us right at the beginning of the year was that when he went to go get the NBA evaluations, they told him, we want to see what you did in March over the course of an entire year. You, are, are you kind of seeing that since the season started, kind of the, the March tournament, Peyton, over the course of this open non-con? Well, he's played really well, and, um, you know, we got to continue to grow as a team, and he's a big part of that, uh, you know, making plays for his teammates. Um, I think he's going to see a lot more double teams, you know, a lot more guys, you know, uh, Texas Southern tried not not let the ball back to him a lot, so our other guys going to have to continue to develop. Uh, we're going to have to get, continue to develop our inside game a little bit more, and I think God take and give us a little help there. But as a team, we just got to keep making progress. But Peyton has really helped us get through the early part of our schedule, which was very difficult. That and Will Richardson's improvement, uh, Anthony, you know, those experienced guards make a difference. Has, has Dante's insertion in the lineup kind of changed how, how Frank has sort of kind of been playing and developing over the last few weeks? Well, you know, they go against each other in practice, and I think, you know, both of them will give us an inside presence. Uh, Francis more with his, you know, defense and rebound. Dante maybe a little bit more with his scoring. Uh, Francis continues to develop his offense. Uh, you know, I think those two guys can give us a, a little one-two attack inside that, that we really need. How has Dante kind of been since that Texas Southern game and just getting in more reps with the lineup, first teams and all that? Well... He's, he's just got a lot of work to do. His conditioning needs to improve, and, uh, you know, he's just got a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. So you guys seem to do, be doing fairly well. You're tied to four wins right now. But it seems like you're not completely satisfied with how the team's doing. What are you working on most to try to stay a good for three? Well, after the Texas Southern game, we, on it. we, we didn't play very well, and, uh, you know, our 19 turnovers was really a concern. So, um, you know, there's no one phase of our game that, that we're very comfortable with. We've got a lot of work to do you know, with everything. Uh, but I'd say right now, you know, immediate concerns are we got to handle the ball better. Uh, our last three games, we've got 16, 15, and 19 turnovers. That's got to improve. Uh, our board play, we're even with Texas Southern. We should have beat them on the board, so I was disappointed there. Um, so, you know, and getting Dante more comfortable with everything we do. So a lot of work in all facets. And, uh, you know, he's way behind, and, and he can give us something different, you know, so we got to get him up to speed. I know you guys, you know, every, every game it's one day at a time, it's one game at a time. But, you know, now that the net's out and you start to kind of see where you guys are as far as potential seeding can go, and how much does the coaching staff keep track of that over the course of the year? Yeah. Right now, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, we got such a small sample size. You know, we got just basically a third of our season done, and uh, so you know, I guess you're aware of it. But you know, I don't think anybody spends too much time trying to break it down. As far as Pac-12 play goes, you guys obviously Alabama State still to play before you hit that conference schedule. But from what you've seen of the conference so far, what are your overall thoughts? Maybe they compared this year to last year. I think you know Colorado because of their experience is, is uh, uh, really doing well. Uh, Stanford, you know, is off to a great start. They got a big game with Kansas on Sunday. Um, Arizona is very talented. Uh, Washington has really played well. They had a tough game with Houston the other night, but they're very good, very athletic. Uh, you know, so I think our you know our league is is really doing well. You know, Utah had the big win over Kentucky, so you know I like where our league's headed. I think we got a lot of good young players, and um, USC's played well. You know, you just go down the list. I think we've had a lot of big wins. A lot of teams playing pretty well. You know, this time last year in the non-con, it still seemed like this team needed a, a lot of time to gel. Some games left on the table that maybe should not have been this time last season. What is different about this team with the benefit of kind of seeing how this non-con has gone and, and how much 
this team has seemed to gel, and even when you've had games where you've struggled like Texas Southern, you've won them as opposed to where last year those games Oh, I don't know. I, you know, so much of it is dictated by injuries. You know, we lost Bowl, we lost Kenny for a while. You know, it just, uh, every year is different. You know, I don't usually try to compare the years because, you know, all the criteria is different from year to year. And, you know, I, I think the things that have helped us this year are the experienced guards. You know, uh, you take Peyton, and Will's had a great start, and Anthony's shot us, in, you know, out a couple games, you know, he's shot it so well. So, you know, you got those guards, you can get through that early part, and that's what they've done for us. And I'd say that's the biggest difference. What's CJ kind of given you? Since Dante's come in, that rotation kind of seems like it's the, the three of them in the front court with Shakur. You know, how, how have you guys as a staff kind of figured how to rotate those guys in? Well, we haven't yet. We've playing four guys a lot with Chandler and Francis and, and Dante will work a little bit in, CJ, and, and if Shakur win and if he gets back, you know, that'll be a difference. So uh, there's nothing etched in stone. Like I said, we're still in December and, and uh, play just a third of our schedule and things will start to pick up here in conference play. And we start out, you know, four of our first six on the road and, and uh, some tough places to play, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Speaking of Shakur, what's his status? Uh, he's out for a while yet. Uh, you know, he's shooting the ball a little bit, but it's going to be a while yet. How was your Christmas? It was great. Yeah. It was great. I got a chance to see my family and uh, Reva's family, so it was good. What was the best gift you got or the best gift you gave? Uh, I hate to admit this, but my wife gives all the gifts. I, I have no <laughs> idea, you know, so... Uh, I don't think I got any. I don't. I don't think I was good this year, so I, I didn't get any gifts. But no, it was it was great holiday, and got a little granddaughter, so that was great to, to get her. That was her first Christmas. So it was pretty nice. Right. Thanks so much, Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach.